Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So today I decided, you know, one of the ways we can wrap up this year is by doing a full face using all my favorite products from 2017. This year, there have been a lot of launches, different areas, especially with eyeshadow palettes, some new cosmetics coming onto the line, like for example, the KKW Beauty launches. There have been lots of highlighter releases, lots of collaborations as well. And today we're just gonna be reviewing and looking at the things I bought and the ones I loved the most that I can call my favorites for the year 2017. If you are not already subscribed to the fam, do go ahead and subscribe down below. And do give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end. It does help to spread the word so that others can enjoy the same footage you are viewing too. So without further ado, let's get started. The first product I'm gonna have to say is my favorite for 2017 in terms of primer has to go to the J Ohm Jelly Pack. And now I've really only been using this primer within the last month. It acts almost like a glue for your makeup to stick on. It's really, really tacky. So it leaves an amazing finish onto the skin. It also helps with oil production, which is why I've been able to replace the Milk of Magnesia with this. Now, Milk of Magnesia definitely still works best for oil production, not to mention that the price range for the actual product itself is better with Milk of Magnesia, but Milk of Magnesia just isn't very good for your skin in the long run. This retails for $42. For the year of 2017, this was kind of difficult because for me, it was tied between these two foundations, the Huda Beauty foundation versus the Fenty foundation. However, when it came down to it, I had to choose the Huda Beauty foundation as my favorite. So my shade is 520G. The reason why I say the Huda Beauty foundation was my personal favorite for the year of 2017 is because I was able to just buy one shade in the foundation range and just stick with that. With the Fenty foundation, I had to buy two shades, 510 and 590, and mix them together to get my perfect shade because of the undertones. Fenty has a wide range of shades, but it wasn't very versatile to me in terms of the undertones. They were just very, very red. And the Huda Beauty foundations actually run a little more olive. Next, I'm going to be going in with my favorite concealer for the year 2017. My tried and true LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. Let me tell you, I don't care how expensive a concealer is, if the quality of the concealer is just not good, it's just not good, you know? I did try some other concealers and they just didn't hold up as well as this one. The formula in the, of this concealer is just absolutely, it really is amazing. Not to mention, you know, my concealer needs might be completely different from the needs of somebody else. I look more for moisture coverage. Some people would be looking more to see if it does seep into fine lines. I don't have a lot of fine lines underneath my eyes and I don't have too much darkness either. So this concealer is definitely just a perfect perfect combo for me now that that is blended in it's time to go in and contour and for me actually my favorite contour product for the year of 2017 is actually a foundation it is the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 490 this you literally only need a drop to the perimeter of your face just that much but it's so pigmented and it gives me great uh, coverage and the, co the color itself is cool enough that it allows me to really go in and sculpt. And I have been absolutely loving this combination even with the Huda Beauty foundation. They just meld really well. Now, in terms of my favorite setting powder for the year of 2017, I know what y'all are thinking, you're going to think it's the Ben 9 Neutral setting powder, but actually I'm going to have to give it to the Patrick's powder. The Patrick's powder, the MAC Cosmetics times Patrick Star uh, collection Patrick powder. I don't know what they put in this stuff. I don't know how they made this stuff. 
I don't know, this is like magical fairy dust. You literally just end up looking so flawless. You can check out my review on the actual collection when I, my first impressions. So now we're going to move into our brows. My brow routine really hasn't changed over this last year. However, I will say that they are still my favorite. The Ruby Kisses Black Brown Eyebrow Pencil. I actually switched a bit throughout the year with this one in terms of the shades. Like I used different shades throughout the year. But my favorite is definitely the black brown. I love how defined it makes my brows look. Now, in terms of brow gels, for adding warmth onto my eyebrows, I will give it to the Ruby Kisses Brow Mascara in the shade Rich Chocolate Brown. This is my favorite, and it's it's inexpensive. It's like three bucks. You really can't beat that. Brows are such a personal thing. Like, it literally just varies from person to person. I have tried some very expensive brow products, and they just didn't work for me. I, I, I didn't like them. And... Not to mention, brows are something that people do like all the time. It just doesn't become very cost effective, you know? So, I like my inexpensive brow products. But, in terms of brow gels, this stuff is literally glue for the brows. It's not a new product on the market, however, for me, it was a new product into my routine. And I'm definitely going to say that the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel goes on the list of my favorite beauty products for the year of 2017. This stuff is literally like glue in a tube. I'm gonna be going with my usual, which is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Nutmeg. Okie dokes, brows are cleaned up for the year of 2017. I'm pretty sure we know what my favorite eyeshadow palette was. Definitely the Huda Beauty desert dusk palette this eyeshadow palette literally has every single thing you could possibly want in an eyeshadow palette i'm talking about transition shades that are friend very very friendly for looks for women of color it's got very great orange based transition shades it's got nicer brick red shades it's got deeper plummy tones as well so it's just got everything it's got peachy shades it's just got it's just got everything beautiful shades in here so for today's look what I actually want to do is try out the glitter shade in here Cosmo so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna grab Eden first which is this peachy shade right here taking Eden and sweeping this into my crease next I'm going to be going in with amber amber is like a brick shade Dusting off the excess, I'm just going to push that, starting on the outer corner in circular motions, swiping it inwards. Next, I'm going to go in with Saffron. It's definitely more of a, a deeper red. This is definitely more of a red. And I'm going to intensify the outer edge here. And last but not least, I'm going to be going in with my favorite shade. In this palette which is oud oh my god this brown is so beautiful it's like a plummy red brown such a beautiful shade that is so versatile and i honestly live for the colors in this palette i live for the color combinations that i can come up with especially because of the transition shades like these transition shades are metro booming i don't think i want to use a a glitter base either I'm just gonna dip my finger this is beautiful and I'm literally just using my finger this is definitely bold Wow this glitter is beautiful now I'm going to just take oud amber and saffron and just place those on my lower lash line For mascara, my favorite mascara for 2017 definitely is the, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I'm just going to go in with this on my top and bottom lashes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Next, I'm going to pop on some lashes. So that's the eyeshadow look completed. Now I'm just going to dust off this powder. 
it still amazes me how buttery it is like this didn't look so flawless okie dokes in terms of powder contour products i can't say i had any favorites this year to be honest switch it up anytime i am doing a tutorial sometimes i'll use the nana coco one and sometimes i'll use the kkw one and because the mirror i am holding is the kkw beauty one i usually just end up going in with the, these spending too much money on it i have to use it so just is what it is they're not bad products it's just something I wouldn't be able to spend my money on again. I wouldn't be able to rebuy this. This just doesn't make any sense. Okay, now for my blush. I will say my favorite blush for the year of 2017 actually has to go to MAC Raisin. It's a classic, but it's something I kind of just fell back in love with again, and I haven't been able to stop using it. It's just so beautiful and so perfect. Now I am also going to go in with a bit of luminoso. This is all this is like a classic in my opinion. I just love how beautiful and glowy it makes my cheeks. It doesn't add very much color to my skin, but it does add a nice glow. Like look. See that? Now for the ultimate glow, my favorite highlighter for this year is definitely gonna have to be the KKW Beauty highlighters. Even though they are they do have a lot of fallout, they are still so beautiful. Like it literally gives you this lit from with I can't explain it. Literally gives you this lit from within look. And no other highlighter I I had this year did that for my skin. Like I said before, if KKW Beauty does come out with these as separates, I would buy them again, but not the powders. But look at that glow. Oh, hubbies. Love, love, love. In terms of my favorite lip products for the year, I will have to say that my favorite lipstick does have to go to the YSL Rouge for Loop Shine in Beige Blouse. This is my favorite. Oh my god, just look at that color. It's so great because I don't even need to go in with a lip liner with this. My favorite glosses, I will have to say for the year, it's a tie between these two, which is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, the Universal Gloss Balm, the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Gloss in Love Drunk. This is the perfect, perfect brown girl nude gloss. Like, so pigmented, so rich, such has such high impact, such high shine, looks absolutely amazing, and it's, it's pretty long wearing however i feel like the fenty gloss lasts even longer and what i love most about the fenty gloss is that i can use it as a topper on any different lip i like i'm gonna be going today in with the fenty just because it is a beautiful topper oh these two together it's just happiness you know just love and happiness. Setting sprays. When it comes to setting sprays, obviously you know, you know, MAC Fix Plus definitely always is on that list. However, the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Spray, I bought the mini just because I wanted to try it out first to kind of see what really was the hype about it. This stuff is really, really amazing. Now, there's two ways in which I do use it. For example, if I'm going in with my concealer and I do leave it on for a little too long and it is starting to dry out, what I will do is take this and spritz it because it's got uh, a fine mist of like oils in it as well. It does help to kind of soften up the concealer so that I can continue to blend out nicely. Sometimes I feel like when I do go in with the Fix Plus to do this with some concealers, it does leave it kind of patchy in some areas but this doesn't do that and that's why i really love the tatcha dewy luminous skin skin mist for that technique and it just adds such a nice glow to the skin i go in with a little more than two pumps some people say all you need is one pump on each side of your face but i i go in 
nothing beats my tried and true Mac Fix Plus. Like, girl, nothing, nothing. So I'm just gonna cover my edges. <laughs> Take down my hair. Okay. This is the final look using all of my favorite products from the year of 2017. I hope you guys do like this tutorial. Uh, let me know in the comment section what some of your favorite products were for the year of 2017 and what are some products that you guys are willing to try from uh, my favorites and which ones are you looking forward to seeing in the year of 2018. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe down below on your way out. Thank you so much for walking with me in the year of 2017 and I can't wait to see y'all on my beauty space in the year 2018. Until then, stay blessed and stay golden.